Hello students, in this lecture we're going to talk about types of bonding. So bonding is divided into six different types or seven. Mod zero, modes equals to zero to mode equals to six. Mode equals to zero is also called balance hyphen RR. RR for round robin. And it is the default mode. It transmits packets in sequential order from the first available slave through the last. This mode provides uh, load balancing and fault tolerance. The next one is mode one, which is the active backup. Active backup policy is this, in this mode, only one slave in the bond is active. The other one will become active only when the active slave fails. The bond's uh, MAC address is extreme, ex externally visible on only one port, network adapter, to avoid confusing the switch. This mode provides fault tolerance. The next mode is mode 2 or balance XR. XR policy is that transmit based on source MAC address XRD with destination MAC address. Modulo slave count. This selects the same slave for each destination MAC address. This mode provides load balancing and fault tolerance. Next one is mode 3, broadcast. Broadcast policy is transmits everything on save slave interface. This mode provides fault tolerance. Mode 4 or 802.3 AD, dynamic link aggregation. It creates aggregation groups that share the same speed and duplex settings. Utilizes all slaves in the active aggregator according to the 802.3 AD specification. Next one is module or mode 5, adaptive transmit load balancing. It's channel bonding that does not require any special switch support. The outgoing traffic is distributed according to the current load on each slave. Incoming traffic is received by the current slave. If the receiving slave fails, another slave takes over the MAC address of the failed receiving slave. And the last one is mode 6. Adaptive, adaptive load balancing. It includes a balance TLB plus receive load balancing RLB for IPv4 traffic and does not require any special switch support. The receive load balancing is achieved by ARP negotiation. The bonding driver intercepts the ARP replies sent by the local system on their way out and overrides the source hardware address with the unique hardware address of one of the slaves in the bond such that the different peers use 